I got a text! Text! I sell pens. You sell pen? You sell... Hello guys! Ah oh, well, some people will be thinking, what's my watching this for? Some people will be like, you don't watch that rubbish, do you Mike? <laughs> don't get why we call it rubbish. It's about the only good thing on TV. Ah uh, yeah, Love Island is finally back after the year. Aye, I've missed it um, so much. Um, in last year, come about the end of it, I kind of got a bit sick of it. It was just the old Olivia and Chris Vance and all that, to be honest. I think them two together were a drift. Like, for the game, doing it just for money. I mean, I like, didn't really love each other. For the, um, <laughs> for the, at the most argument, you could ever imagine. Ha! <laughs> Everyone probably remembers. Ah, oh, well. Here's a review on the first episode of um, Love Island 2018. No, I'm not going to do one of these for every single episode, because otherwise I'll be about um, 300 videos on my channel come about. Um, it ends all talking about Love Island. It's got some notes down on my MacBook. I've only put my glasses on the video in an emergency because, as you can probably see, you're like, kind of flexing like you can't see my eyes. Ah, yeah. First bit I'm going to talk about is when the lad went out to pick the girls. It's like, um, I think some of them were shy. Like, I don't like quite get why they're shy. And if there's girls like I in front of me, not a chance that I'd be shy. Like, I'd be so absolutely desperate. Um, you know, as all the lads, like, individually walking up. I mean, like, <laughs> so now, if I was me walking up, I'd, like, be so desperate. I'd probably already have my mind on who I would want. <laughs> I, um, when, when the, the presenter, I just forgot a name now, um, was saying like to the girls, walk out if you fancy this lad. And some were like, um, making excuses of like, oh, when she's asked them why, and then somebody do the personality. Hang on. For the personality, they must have already had stuff happen behind because um, otherwise, why would they know about the personality? You know, like, if it was the first they'd seen them, and if they're that good looking, Surely they would make a step forward. In particular at Samuel or or have you been known to it, um the sheep kept saying, Oh the personality isn't for me and things like that. She said that's about being with everybody daily. Um I think she was just shy. I mean well, she is a performer, you know, obviously so she's obviously used to like for being centre of attention bit. Um, but I think when like comes to picking lads for actual love, maybe she was like just got it's a bit of the wrong point, or she might have maybe lost a lot of sleep, like so she may not have been in the best mood or something. Ah, uh, yeah, if the best two couples off went, I thought Laura and we and Wes were the absolute quality couple. In like, and of course, Laura um, went for Adam, and of course, apparently, Samia has something for Adam as well. Then, like, oh, she was like, oh, I'm not too sure whether if, um, she actually liked Adam. Then, like, um, of course, I think they're having a bit of an awkward conversation. Like, of course, there's a big where Samia and Laura were doing there. And, like, for the time about Adam, hang on. If I was in a house with some people like that, or like in some cell with people like that, it's a bit like um, the old, when you're talking about somebody you fancy, it's a bit like the old um, at school base where um, 
you have that conversation about someone fancies and starts a fight of like, oh, I fancy her, oh, I fancy her, oh no, I, oh no, she's me, bro, get away, she's me, for mine, get away, for mine, yeah, 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 and all that, yeah. Um, I, I wonder if one or the other was going to give the opposite a million, opposite one a million quid to um, have that um, lads or summit. Even Adam said he keeps changing his mind on which girls he likes. I mean, that was like me at um, college. I keep changing your mind on. It was these ones in the first year, you know, talking a while back now, which um, it was about four of them which I had the like for. And this girl in my class at college kept saying I change my mind every week or always be faithless. These are ones out the other class. It's like I papers well what our papers used to do was just eye them up, I'd probably never speak to them. Or maybe they'd say, Oh, thank you when you um open the door for someone. A bit like um at that time when you um would see a girl you like in a pub and like Oh, you feel like sand on doctor, but you're shy, shy, like, oh, yep. <laughs> um, and then obviously, like, the male and female toilets are over the same corner, and then you go at the same time, like, um, hoping to come out, and then you can, one of them might open the, hold the door open for you, and then as a start, the door look like where you would say thank you, bit. Yeah, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's like a good couple as well, but. I can imagine, once all their modelling fails, once they've spent all their money off Love Island on flash houses and cars, um, I wonder if they'd be like, oh, back to the old basic day jobs, Danny working in a bar. Well, actually, Danny could just get all the money off the dads, because, um, of course, apparently Danny is Danny Dyer's daughter. Um... And of course, Jack, <laughs> what sort of job is that? He sells pens for a living. I wonder if that's, um, like standing in the middle of the town. Hey, excuse me, mate. Do you want to buy a pen for one pound? Do you want to buy a pen for one pound? Or is that, actually? I love the job is that. I bet I could, um, do when that was, um or to his work and get paid as much by just selling pens for a pound um, and, um, and get about a whole day's worth of my wages from just two hours work. Actually, a good place to do that job would probably be um, in London, like near all the office areas in, in um, the rush hour and like for the first our added lunch tab of just selling pens like because like people like think oh I need a pen for this I need a pen for this and then the only place I could get one is come and pay me a pound to buy one uh, it probably means something like he works in Smiths or something that's what somebody commented on the, um, a tweet I pull about it it probably means he works in Smiths and she even says she fancies him because she thinks she's so so funny as the fact his job is selling pens aye right, and a bit where all the girls they acted like the old when they saw the um, beds like where they all start bouncing on it like, they're like <laughs> I can't do a girly scheme very well I would start bouncing on my bed but um, it's up but I don't want to break it Um. Of course, I've spent enough money lately, I can't afford to buy myself a new bed. But I, compared to that room in the villa, the Tavern Lodge is nicer. Ah, well anyhow guys, thank you all for watching. Please drop a like, subscribe and goodbye.